So uh, when I was uh, growing up on a small uh, peninsula called Scorig in the northwest highlands of Scotland, uh, well, it was a very rural place and we always had kind of animals around. We had a cow for a while and some goats, um, uh, but we always had chickens, well, and cats. Um, I say we always had chickens. Um, in fact, my parents do still have chickens. They just bought some new ones um, because the old ones were eaten a few months ago by a pine martin. Um, a pine martin is a very vicious and cunning little creature that uh, is extremely good at uh, breaking into any kind of uh, hen uh, uh, sanctuary. Um, and my poor old father has uh, struggled for years to deter them uh, to no avail. Um, Anyway, growing up in this uh, small uh, rural uh, community, uh, there was always these sounds of kind of nature and uh, farm animals and so on, and kids love these sounds. I was no exception. And maybe these sounds kind of percolated into my uh, musical imagination. Um, so uh, a bit later on, I was kind of writing tunes on the, on the fiddle, kind of traditional Scottish uh, fiddle tunes sounding. And the thing about uh, traditional Scottish fiddle tunes is that they all have to have names, otherwise nobody ever uh, remembers them. Um, so uh, I was thinking what to name uh, this set of tunes that I'm going to play on the, on the harmonica. Um, and I realised that they sound uh, a bit like um, what I used to hear whenever a hen laid an egg. It made this kind of clucking noise and it would go on for a long while sometimes just clucking away, uh, very excited that it had laid an egg. So the first of these tunes is called The Laying of the Egg and the second one is called The Pine Martin. <laughs> 